Alright, so this video we're going to be talking about natural base E and how to simplify expressions dealing with E or LN, or in other words, natural log. So LN is another word for natural log. Alright, so in this video you're going to have to have prior knowledge of properties of logarithms because when we have a natural log, it's going to operate the same way okay, as a log would. Alright, so you have to have that basic understanding of properties of logarithms before you go on to natural log. And just to recap here, okay, natural log, so when we have ln x, okay, natural log, sorry, we have y equals ln x, okay? Well, this really has a base of e, so it's really y equals ln base e to the x. The same way we write y equals log x, all right, we know that this has a base of 10, so it's really y equals log base x. And x, same thing, right? And just to kind of reaffirm from the last video of where this is coming from, if you have y equals log base e to the x, okay, another way of writing that is just writing it as ln x. Okay, so this right here is the same thing as ln x. Okay, so whenever you have a base of e, you're dealing with a logarithm convert it to natural log, okay? All right, so knowing that information, why don't we go ahead and try some of these problems? So the first one we're gonna have, natural log e, okay? Then we'll have negative 2t. And they want us to simplify this. Well, how are we gonna go about simplifying this, okay? Well, first thing, let's write in the actual base of this natural log. We know that it's going to have a base of e, so let's write that in. Okay. And now going back to your properties of um, logarithms, this should stick out to you. What is going to happen here? Right? I have a base of e, and then I have another base of e here. Well, based on the inverse property of logarithms, these naturally cancel out, right? The same way as if I were to write this, log base 10, and then I had 10 to the negative 2t. Well, again, they're inverse. Based on the inverse properties of logs, these would naturally cancel out, and you'd be left with negative 2t. Well, the same thing here. Same base, same base, right? These are just simply going to cancel out. All right, so what happens here, these cancel out, and I'm left with is simply negative 2t, and that is your answer, okay? Pretty straightforward. Let's try another problem. So what if I have e, and we all have it to the ln, a natural log, and then parentheses, t minus 1. Well, again, let's rewrite this natural log showing its base. We know it has a base of e, so let's write that in. So we have e, natural log base e, and then t minus 1. Again, going back to those inverse properties of logarithms. Okay, let me write this in a different way, because we've been using logs, so we know that if we have 10, log base 10, right? and then t minus 1. Well, same thing. This is the inverse property of logs. Same base, same base. They cancel out. All right? They undo each other. They're inverse, so we can cancel them out. Same thing here. Base e, base e, it's going to naturally cancel out. Okay? So our answer here is going to be, well, this is going to cancel out, and we're left with t minus 1. So here's our answer t minus 1, okay, and that is our final answer there, okay, so t minus 1, all right, and you didn't have to put it in parentheses, you can take these off if you wish, all right, let's do one more problem here, so let's do e to the ln, sorry, let's do actually, let's do something different, let's do e the 5 ln x. Okay. Well, how are we 
we're going to go about evaluating this. How do we evaluate this log, or this natural log? So this one is a little bit tricky. You have to go back to the properties of logarithms when you're dealing with a power. So remember, if I had, um, let me do another color. I had log x to the fifth, right? Well, based on the power property, we know that this is going to naturally come down to the front, right? We covered this topic. So it comes down to the front, so now I have 5 log x, okay? Well, again, like I said, natural log behaves just like logs. So think about this. How can we rewrite this here? If I have a 5 in the front, this really came from an, an exponent, right? So I can bring it back up as an exponent, right? That's based on the power property of logs. So let me go ahead and rewrite this guy right here. We're going to have e to the ln x all to the fifth power, right? And now we know that natural log has a base of e, so let's rewrite this, e, natural log base e, and then x to the fifth. So again, based on the inverse properties of logs, these e's will cancel out here. So we can simply cancel that out. And our final answer here is going to be x to the fifth power. Okay, that one's a little bit tricky. All right, and that is how you go about simplifying expressions dealing with e or natural log, all right?